Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in my pinny again. I'm in my kitchen, but I'm not going to be baking. DIY face masks. And I'm quite excited about this because I think for the Pick Me Up series, I've done a lot of things about how to boost your confidence. There's loads of things that help with body confidence and self-love and just overall just mental health awareness. I'm here just to be as honest and open as possible. As I always say, I'm not a medical professional in that regard. However, I know it feels like, yeah, who's excited to do this? So I'm not gonna keep waffling on. I'm just gonna show you the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I'm gonna be doing three face masks. Uh, the first thing you need is a ceramic bowl and a spoon that isn't metal because we are gonna be using products which will not do well if you use a metal spoon. Okay, so we're gonna be preparing the oat flour for two of the face masks. So in a blender, you'll be adding roughly around four to five tablespoons of oats rolled oats that will go into the blender and then that will be used for face mask number one and face mask number two when we're going to be blending this this will be on a low setting so we don't get rid of the large oat itself in the flour and when it's in the actual face mask it will be more of an exfoliant as well so we want to keep that rustic feel in the actual flour itself so the next ingredient will be the raw honey. You have to ensure that it is raw honey so there's no nasty chemicals in there. Um, so we use one tablespoon of the Just Be raw honey. We mix that in. For the yogurt, so I just use our pro plain yogurt with a hint of coconut in there, that's optional. And then we'll put one to two tablespoons in there depending on thickness and preference. And then we mix in all that together so it's combined properly and then to make sure that the mixture is a lot smoother, we'll be adding a, a tablespoon of filtered water. So you can either get bottled water or if you have a filter at home. And now we're going to be adding the remaining oat flour into the face mask and just keep stirring. This consistency is great for a face mask. Remember, we are not eating this. I got these mason jars today, which come with labels. So there's about three, six, nine, twelve, twelve jars, and this was about fifteen pounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean these. We're just going to put some warm water in these, or you can put them in the dishwasher. They're just dish, dishwashable safe, and then we're going to come back and transfer that into this. Face mark number two, we're going to be doing doing is turmeric and honey for inflammatory purposes so as I said before if you've got any um, acne or any sores on your face this stuff will do wonders for you okay here with the turmeric powder we need about a tablespoon of turmeric or a tablespoon and a half of turmeric powder with the honey and then you'll be adding the filtered water as well so I used probably about a hundred mils of cold filtered water into the mixture and i kept stirring okay now with some more oat flour that i had to make um, as i ran out um, we'll be adding this to the mixture as well and then this is going to really thicken up the face mask and just keep stirring and then we're going to put it into the jar for number two okay in another bowl we're going to be adding so i've got this stuff from amazon so this is called argila natural so this is greens clay powder so this was probably eight pounds per kilo. As we're going to be adding with a clean spoon and a clean bowl, we're going to be adding three tablespoons of the green clay powder. The amount is four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I've mixed all that up, I end up needing double the amount of mixture because the amount of water I put in there. So just put that into the jar. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom now and I'm going to be doing the face masks. So the turmeric and honey one, as I say before, that's for more for information. So I'm going to be doing on my problem areas, which is 
my cheeks at the moment so I'm going to be doing just a little bit of that on this part of my face see all the oats in there I've got it on my face here it smells nice so it decided to just cut off mid record and hasn't saved so as I was saying before I'm now doing the oat yogurt and honey on the other side of my face to see in comparison to this side with inflammatory properties to this side where it's more moisture to see if it feels any different um and then i'm going to leave my nose and my t-zone clear up because the oats keep falling on my face final one is the green clay and that one will go on my forehead and down my t-zone the green clay is for impurities, so if you have any blackheads or anything like that to really get the pores open, it feels lovely on the skin, like it doesn't sting and the thing is I've got quite, I've got quite sensitive skin. I had to be really careful of what the ingredients I put in there. The three face masks that I've just done um, and then we're gonna leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes and then wash it off and then I'll get back to you in a different scene to go over how I feel on my face I must say that it's already feeling quite good and it's starting to dry quite quickly especially this side and my forehead is still quite wet but this side as well doesn't need to dry so yeah we'll see how it goes and I'll get back to you spare room now because I need more lighting and the lighting in the bathroom was not very good. It's been on for about 10 minutes and that's mixed together because of the turmeric but I'm wondering if my skin will be yellow because of that. But yeah I'm gonna wash this off now and then go through the afters and see what it looks like. Okay so I've washed it off. Um, I was a bit concerned that maybe the turmeric would discolour my face I don't see it being too yellow other than staining my finger. So I think out of the three, this is probably my least favorite out of the three I've made. Um, and you can see it's still coming off. So I probably will not make that one again, or I'll find an alternative inflammatory face mask. But so far, the spot that I do have is it hasn't got any worse or it hasn't got any more inflamed so it has really settled down the redness of that. I would say the oat, yogurt and honey would be my favourite so far. It feels like my skin really absorbed the ingredients and it feels really good and as you can see it looks really, I just feel it just feels really nice on my skin. The turmeric side with the honey and water was a little bit more... I would say intense on my skin but I will put uh, it hasn't stained my skin so that's a plus the green clay the one I got from Amazon where you just mix it yourself the forehead feels really good it feels like the moisture of my skin hasn't been compromised it feels soft it feels subtle and yeah so i've just put some rose water which is hydrating toner on my face when i was doing this side and i've just done the rest of my face as well and what i'm going to be doing is just doing some eye cream this is what i really recommend you do as soon as you've done your face mask everyday um care, skincare regime so this one is poppy austin's um rose hip oil and this is rejuvenating oil and it's the same brand as the toner that i have this is not an ad these were i bought them myself but i just love poppy austin and if you see my skincare regime video which i'll put the link up up here you'll see why i use it and the benefits for me and how i like them so that's it homemade face masks my skin feels amazing I would say with the ingredients I put in here um, for one jar, I probably would say that it costs about a pound to make, if not less. If you have some time in the afternoon, make this yourself and it lasts up to five to seven days in the fridge. The clay one, probably a lot longer. 
and yeah you're all set to go you are important you are beautiful you are amazing so having these things to help you feel even better about yourself is a bonus i hope that you've had a lovely day um and thank you for watching once again make sure that you subscribe to my channel to receive more content and press that bell button and if you've liked it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one have a great week ahead bye guys mm -hmm.